in this lecture we will uh, fit the doors in our walls so in the previous lecture we have created this uh, wall plan and in this lecture we are going to fit the doors so we will be using different ki different sizes of the door for the different rooms for uh, for bedrooms we will be using different size for wc we will be using different and for the uh, bath we will we will be using different sizes so let's see how we can do that in our plan so for that first of all you need to make sure that you are at the ground floor level because obviously uh, we are going to fit our doors and everything that will be at the ground floor and now after that what you have to do is all you need is just to simply go to doors because we are going to place the door so for that we, I will just simply go to door or you can just simply simply use the shortcut now after that what you can do is you, you have to load family uh, if you want to use different kinds of doors other than that so let's simply go and click on load family and after that i will go to us templates and here you will find the doors so let's simply double click on that and after clicking on that because this is the residential plan and uh, so we will just simply go to residential and here uh, you have to choose uh, whatever uh, the door you want so I will go with this M door exterior single half flat glass. So I will just simply select on that. Okay. And after that, what I will do is uh, I will go back. Or I will go back because uh, and I will choose the door in next time. Or what you can do if you want to load the doors at the same time for the bed and WC. In that case, you have to select this door. And after that, you can just scroll down. And, and now we have to look the door for the interior side. So what you will do is we will you have to press control and shift it like this and after that you will get this. So like that if you don't want to deselect this you can just simply select on that and if you want to go ahead with this one you can just simply click on this one as well. So like that you can choose any of uh, the doors you want. So I will be using this door. You can choose any of the doors. So as you can see here that as uh, as I have collect, uh, clicked on any of these without pressing the control, the earlier one has also been deselected. So you have to select it again and you need to make sure that whenever you are uh, doing the multiple selection, in that case, you have to make sure that you are uh, doing it with the control key. So now what I will do is I will select this one with the help of control key and now you can see that I have selected this and this uh, what you can do if you don't uh, so I will be using this one so I will be using this one I will be using this one in the WC and the bath. So after that what you have to do is all you need is just to simply click on open. And after that from here you have to choose the size so you can see that right now this one is the interior single flush door. Uh, uh, so for that what we can do uh, what we can do here is that we have to select the sizes for that. So uh, I, I will be using two different sizes for WC I will be using 600. So you have to look for 600 into 2400. So let's go to 2400 size and I will use this 600 into 2400. So I will just simply select on that by using control. So I have selected that and you can see that uh, the background is now of black color. And for the bath I will be using 750 into 2400. So let's scroll down. 750 into 2400. Again you have to control and select that. Now let's go back to the exterior size the and this door i will be using of uh, for the bedrooms so the for the bedrooms i will be using 900 into 2400 size so let's simply scroll down to 2400 size and we have this 20 900 into 2400 size so we just simply select on that so as you can see here that uh, we have selected this so we don't want this 750 into 2400 uh, so 900 into 2400 uh, this interior single okay okay let me okay 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 so there's a mistake so this is the interior one as you can see and uh, we will be using this we will be using this on wc and bath so let's uh, make this one 750 and let's unselect this so 750 and 600 and after that we will go to this exterior single size so we just need to simply select on that and here we have to select 900 into 2400 for the bedroom so let's simply select on that so you can see that we have selected uh, the one single size from 
this exterior single size and for this we have selected two doors 750 and 600 into 2400 so let's simply click on ok now here you can clearly see that we have uh, successfully imported the doors here you can see the different size of doors that we we will we will be using in our so first let's start with the uh, bedroom so as you can see here that this is the bedroom here so here we will be uh, we we are going to fit our doors so you can see that i have just taken my mouse cursor just like this and all you need is just to press uh, space to just flip the direction just like that and you can after that you can just simply place a door just like this one so first of all we will place all the doors in our bedroom so you can see that i have placed a door here and now this is the bedroom as well so i will just simply put a door here I will put the door here so as you can see that I have placed two doors in this direction and in this direction if you're feeling that the size is uh, uh, greater great in that case what you can do is let me just simply press ctrl Z and you can see that this one is giving some sort of problem okay now this one is placed you can see that we have successfully uh, placed the doors so if you're not happy with the sizes you can actually decrease the scale so let's decrease this to 1 is to 50 to look uh, to make it look much more better now the next bedroom we have uh, in this region next bedroom in this region but the problem is that we don't have walls so for that we have to create the walls so what i will do is i will just simply select that and then after that i will type cs that is for create similar and uh, what i will do is i will model a wall from this point to this point and then i will press escape and now i will select this door okay and then again i will type cs now I'll just simply take my mouse cursor on this side and uh, I will place a door here just like this one now you can see that we have a place a uh, bedroom door here as well now it's time for WC so for WC we will be using 600 size so let's simply go there and this is the door that we will be using for WC so let's simply select on that and wc is uh, here uh, so let's simply select on that let's make it like this okay wc here and after that we have to place a door here and after that we have to place a door in this region Okay, now that we have placed the WC, so we have to place a 1 WC in this region as well. So let's simply flip it. Let's zoom in. So now what we have to do is we only left with uh, the bath. So we have to place the doors for the bath as well. So for the bath, I will be using 750 size. Okay, let's simply move this one with the help of small uh, with the help of arrow key okay and then we have uh, uh, so this is the wardrobe region and here what you can do is you can just use the different sizes for the doors but I will be using the same size for the bath so let's simply just simply select uh, simply go here to let's simply type dr and then I will be using this size so for here what I will do is I will just simply make it like this so you can use all these things all these reference that I have just attached with this lecture so you can take help of that for the references and now you can see that we have placed all the doors of in our wall plan 
so this is the end of this lecture and you need to make sure that the tag is placement is on that's why we are getting these kinds of numbers you can see so this is the end of this lecture